Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Mungades Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading is for your monthly reading of, of October 2024 and this can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. This month is um, bringing lots of exciting energies but it can be a bit challenging because change is coming and change is usually not easy to deal with. So Virgo, I'm going to look into this month and uh, focus on love as well. But first, let's just look at, in general, what this uh, month of October holds for us. So I already consulted the Rune Oracle and it kind of sums up the energy of the month. We've got at the bottom of the deck the um, joy and... Uh, the happiness that can uh, come as the result of this month and it is relating to the temperance energy so this is about your ability to navigate things and uh, create balance between opposing forces and this uh, actual energy is referring to the Pluto going direct on the 12th of October because it brings a bit of uh, power struggle vibes and uh, the the emphasis is on the struggle. So right now, Virgo, you are uh, possibly in this energy of uh, the emperor, masculine energy, and trying to make things work. You might be struggling. You might be feeling like you are going against the flow. And um, then we've got the Hermit card showing up, the intuition, which is very interesting because on uh, the 2nd of October, we've got a new moon in Libra. And this new moon is also uh, the day of the solar eclipse. So the, new, the moon and the sun are kind of um, um, amplifying each other's energy and at this time, the subconscious and the intuition will be stronger and uh, going to direct us, let us understand what we truly want, whether it's in love, in money, in life in general. And uh, also, um, it allows us to see things more clearly. So the moon is about uh, what's within us and the sun is what is showing towards the world. So um, this is... Uh, quite exciting and then we've got the cattle fehu which is about wealth the home and it's connecting to the tower energy so i feel that um, this reminds us of um, jupiter going retrograde which is on the 9th of october and this is asking you to reassess your life, your opportunities. It is a retrograde, so you need to slow down, take stock, make sure that you are on the right path, you are going towards your dreams, your desires. So this month is helping you to um, balance everything because we are in Libra season, which is about love and beauty and balance, also about relationships. So Virgo, this month, offers a chance to find either new directions or a new wave of energy inspiration taking you towards what you already wanted. Now let's uh, look into what is happening in love and then I will uh, keep diving into certain astrological events. So we already only towards the halfway of the month and it's bringing up so much. So let's find out what's happening in October in love. We've got the King of Cups to start with. So there is some kind of emotional mastery that it's like uh, you are... Um, going through what you feel intuitively and um, allowing yourself to feel things. It could be the fact that you are dealing with someone who is 
feeling deeply about you, but maybe not willing to show the depth of their feelings. And we've got the five of wands, which is um, coming sideways. So it's like, um, uh, what is that called? Um, a break in fighting with each other. I know it. Uh, the Hungarian expression for this, but it's not coming to me. Um, anyway, so um, this month, it's possible that your person and you are going to find a way to move on from past hurt. And we've got the waxing moon making progress one to two weeks. So um, that's literally the first half of the month. Something is going to happen, which will allow the two of you to change course if you need it to, or gain um, uh, it's not dynamic, gain power in um, moving forward and speed as well. We've got the strength and the hierophant showing up. So I feel that the two of you, you and your person, are very, very different in a way. Um, you are the strength, they are the hierophant. So you are strong, but very adventurous, and you are willing to see things from the heart's perspective. And your person is more about um, their values, which um, they learned. So it's more internal, that's more external knowing, knowledge. So... I believe that the two of you are trying to find clarity on how to take this connection to the next level. You both want this, okay? So you could be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus so far. We, I mentioned a few tarot cards which connected to the runes. So you could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, um, an Aries again, and... Um, a Sagittarius. Okay, so let's keep moving on. Uh, on the 17th of October, we've got the full moon in Aries. Now, for Virgo, it really helps to um, experience something positive, a positive change, like uh, in love, in luck, in, in money. Um, some things are going to turn for the better, and um, this full moon is asking you to prioritize your dreams. And um, it's also about really aligning with your desire, with your dreams. So if there is someone or something or someone's holding you back from achieving what you want, what you know you are capable of, you need to let them go. And this can be a very painful uh, energy. So let's look into this one. It can be letting go of a work situation, friends, lovers, family, uh, could be lots of different things. So yeah, we've got the three of ones at the bottom. It is about um, moving the obstacles from your way, from the road, so you can get to your destination, which you dreamt up for yourself. We've got a year or more with this winter solstice, which is about validating your feelings and um, it's about finding the light within and the queen of wands energy showing up which is mystical and magical and on the 22nd we've got scorpio season starting which is exactly that kind of energy uh, magic mysticism manifestation so the second half of the month could bring you lots of positive shifts especially in regards to money and in a relationship too you could be finding um, ways to realize 
that this might not be the end of the road with your person. For some of you, it is simply about the realization that maybe it's not working now, but can work in the future. Okay, so let's find out more about this um, energy. High Priestess. Yeah, that uh, thinning, the, th thinning of the veil is going to amplify your intuition and your persons as well. And there is a decision to be made. And um, you may need to uh, draw out, outside of the lines. Um, but taking risks can pay off. So let's see your person's energy. What this person you are thinking of is thinking about you. We've got broken dreams and... Um, they are following their heart. So I feel that your person um, is it, very interesting. It's like uh, opposites um, brewing in them. And sometimes uh, I'm getting this Jekyll and Hyde energy, which is uh, quite interesting. So one side of them is manipulative. The other side of them is, is very loving and uh, romantic and affectionate and charming. So they are... Um, <laughs> constantly changing it's like shape shifting as well and that is the ace of wands a passionate uh, start so your person definitely would like to continue and rest or restart this connection how they feel about you Virgo. let's find out queen of cups temperance Ten of Coins, Knight of Coins, and the Ace of Swords. So they are starting to... Well, the Tower is showing up. Uh, they are starting to see clearly that however much they want to or try to shake off this connection with you in the past, it's not possible. And um, they do care about you and they want... Uh, to understand more about this because it feels like the two of you are opposites but they are thinking about a union of th these opposites the two of you coming together so you could be dealing with the sagittarius and aries lots of fire energy showing up and what is their intention right now king of pentacles reversed And six of coins with the hanged man at the bottom. So um, your person can be, yeah, this is again that Jekyll and Hyde, uh, the shapeshifters sometimes could be very possessive, other times they are very generous, and um, they want to find a new perspective with you. Pisces energy is showing up. Okay. So this month will go looks like that there will be a bit of fighting for what you want, struggles, and then you step back and look within. Your intuition will guide you. You find your balance, your um, almost like your stability in, in many ways, and you will feel very sure about what you want and where you are heading and it will free up so much energy within you it's dancing being happy celebrating your wins in work in money in love in every way in luck and um, we also have Sovelo, which is the sun, connected to the sun card. This is about uh, concentration, celebration, exactly what I was channeling earlier. So um, this month can be a triumph for you, Virgo. Make sure that you are not scared of change because change will be a very strong underlying energy and it will affect every area of your life. And we finished the month with Halloween, which is a celebration of um, the harvest. And also the veil is quite thin uh, during Halloween. Uh, so depending on your view of the world, you can view it in many different ways. 1444 on the counter, as I said that. So we've got a number five and the number eight energy. 
change towards abundance. So this is a very, can be a very fun way of ending the month. Well, I am, uh, um, well, coming from uh, Hungary and living in the UK. In the UK, Halloween is more about the kids going trick and treating and it's a it's a lighter light more light-hearted uh, celebration in hungary we don't have or didn't have halloween as i was brought up and it was more about uh, grieving the people we lost and it was more sad uh, than a celebrative energy so whichever way you are celebrating um all saints or or actual Halloween, it is a milestone and it is reminding you to be grateful for what you have and know that every season has their own uh, beauty. And during winter, it's more about hibernation to get prepared for the spring. But whichever way it's um, working out in your life, know that October is bringing amazing new opportunities and a chance for you to glow up in every way possible. Now, I'm going to continue this and look more into this love connection in the extended and whatever else is showing up. Thank you so much for being here. Liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye for now.